Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition where we just had to leave our dad behind and now we're gonna go and everybody's gonna yell at us which is just the story of story of Shepard's life so uh, buckle up get ready and the video will start in a second but to be fair this game also makes me laugh harder than any other game I've played so like there are some really genuinely good moments what the hell's going on where's Anderson where are we going? Hey! We're leaving. This isn't easy for me either! Leaving? We're not easy for me! What's going on? Anderson wants us to go to the Citadel, get help for the fight. Bullshit, he wouldn't order us to leave. Are you questioning me? I've been reinstated! <laughs> we don't have a choice. Without help, this war's already over. Forget it. Drop me off. Enough! Don't you think I'd rather stay and fight? We're going to the Citadel. You want out? You can catch a ride back from there. Commander! Joker, that you? Alive and kicking. Got an emergency transmission from Admiral Hackett for you. Who else Patch would be through. flying my ship? <laughs> Shepard. Insane heavy losses. The force was overwhelming. No way we can defeat them conventionally. Anderson's already ordered me to the Citadel to talk to the Council. First, I need you to find its outpost on Mars. Now we lose control of the system. Yes, sir. I've been researching the Vrothian archives with Dr. Tassoni. We found a way to stop the Reapers. Only way to stop My eyes. Joker, set a course for the Mars Archives. Mars? Roger that. This is local. Why Mars? What does he think we'll find there? Why are you here? I don't know. Yet. But if it helps us win this war... I'm being contrarian. Grab your gear. Boob armor! I thought I got rid of that in the last game. I had a perfectly fine set of Kestrel armor in the last game, <laughs> but no. Every time I see that armor, I'm like, I just picture a blacksmith trying to hammer out, like, so what cup size are you? And like, hammering out, like, I know that's not how they make space armor, but that's just what I picture. <laughs> like, you know, I need a bra, <laughs> like, so I can size you correctly and give you a giant weak spot right in the sternum. I would really appreciate that. It's for the boys, you know. <laughs> Ugh. I've been trying to reach Mars on secure channels. No one yeah, no, no surprise. Any sign of Reaper activity? Negative. Edie? The base appears to be online. It's possible the inhabitants were evacuated. We'll know soon enough. Be ready, Joker. Just in case. Roger that. North <laughs> the, the, the side eye, like, uh... We're almost there. Like, this is so normal and yet so... Uh, uh Heimlich, you know? Like... To have him back, <laughs> like, just like, yeah, like, don't worry, too, we're gonna have a moment soon where it's like, he's gonna air his grievances and I'm gonna be like, I don't wanna try to strangle him. Just me, not Shepard. Shepard's a lot more con contained than I am. <laughs> Much more storm professional. From the base, but we've got a massive storm headed our way. How do they get- How long till it hits? Half hour tops. After that, we're gonna have difficulty keeping up comms with the. How do they make armor that fits you? Understood. James Vega, you're freaking massive. Ooh, okay, let's see. Level 31, Party Mars. So I'm level. Wow, what's the max in this one? It's probably 60, 50. Uh, whoo, baby, this is what you get for importing a character. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I think this one's more... Is this one more along the lines of... I thought Mass Effect 3 went off of Mass Effect 2's level up system. Okay, there... I was, it was like expand and I was like, eh? <laughs> so yes, there, there it's more like Mass Effect 2's where each one has like a perk, essentially. It's not just like putting PowerPoints in, like each one unlocks something. Mm, 
Hmm, so it's already picked that one for me. Thanks! Hit two additional targets within two meters of him. Well, and this also kind of depends on who I'm going to be bringing with me. Because I'm definitely going to want crowd control options for the human husks, which are still by far and away my tied, tied for least favorite with, um, the yeah, Asari uh, husks. Those ones, the free, oh, when they, the teleportation thing, and the way they scream, and like, bleh, the banshees. Yeah, I was like, what, what's their name? And I'm like, the way they scream, banshees. <laughs> Uh, I don't care about weapon damage, increased power damage, and force. Yes. And maybe, maybe give battle cards a 25% chance of not triggering a cooldown. That's not consistent enough. Increase barriers by an additional 50%. Wow. Okay. That's awesome. That's sweet. Increased power damage and force by 25%. That might actually be nice, because I do throw myself in and then use my weapons, you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't necessarily use my biotic abilities again. But I could, within 15 seconds. That would actually, I mean, it probably wouldn't stack. But... Increased power damage... I already do have a power, that's the thing, Some, sometimes they'll kind of repeat. So we do have a power damage enforced by 30% there. I might actually go with that. Go with that one, and then we'll go with the barriers. Botic Char's my favorite. Nova. What do you do? Barrier strength determines blast intensity. Oh, that's good. I just upgraded my barrier a bit on um, the other ability on the charge. Impact radius, love that. Increased damage and force. I try to get these, the first three, definitely first. You know, like unlocked on anything. Put on some muscle. I should probably have paid more attention to this, but. That increases my melee damage, more health, health and barrier bonus. I will be meleeing. I don't know. Don't no point in looking at that right now. Yeah, we didn't have Caden, so Caden gets all the cool stuff. He has Reeve. He's a sentinel. He's got the bow again, the tech. Oh, what the heck. We'll keep him pretty even Stevens across the board right now, so I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to think about it. And we didn't have James Reagan in the last game either. Carnage, that's right. Set on fire, just running. <laughs> like ah! <laughs> I'm sorry, that's so mean, but it is really. And it's like it's like the elevator person, you know? It's, not, <laughs> it's like the thick stick figure. <laughs> All right, even Stevens, boys. Can I? I can't do anything else. So why is it beeping at me? It's like, oh yeah, I mean, I still have points, but I can't use them. Oh, that's, that's annoying. Okay, hopefully this transition transitions well. <laughs> I, uh, I'm gonna end up having to sort of make the outros and intros for one and two. Or at least make the outro for one and the intro for two. Man, that's a huge storm. 
Looks a lot bigger in person. Pretty average for Mars, actually. Shut up, kid. I'm glad you're so Shut optimistic. Up, Kaden. Nobody asked you. We've got Reapers invading Earth. The station here is offline. A little dust storm seems like the least of our worries. Fair enough. Um, yeah, <laughs> because the video went a little long. Um, the first video went a little long. So I was like, Bleh. Oh, yeah, okay. Anyway. What's that? He's Alliance. Sergeant Reeves. Didn't put up a fight before he died. Something's not right here. Keep a low profile till we know it's going Oh my on. gosh, I almost didn't see it. I don't want to equip it. I, I, okay. Yeah, I was like, this is, this is a whole thing in this one. Um, no. Yeah, give me a shotgun, yes. I want that. Uh, the predator. This is why my power recharge speed was so... Yeah, so this game doesn't give it was so high <laughs> when I didn't have like any weapons. Uh, this game uh, doesn't restrict your weapon usage. Um, you can pick whatever you want. You can be a vanguard with a sniper rifle if you want. It's just a weight thing, which Andromeda also does, um, which is fine. I don't mind. Um, we'll see. I ended up using the pistol a ton in Mass Effect 2, but I'm pretty sure the shotgun's a little more viable in 3. Um, at least the way I play it. At least the way I played back in the day, so... Oh, wait, let's... So we, and we only have one option for each of these. Yeah, he's got two. Okay, as long as they each have two, we're good. And nobody's nobody's a sniper guy here. I keep tr I keep pressing in the the left click. Holy shit! They're executing them. Yep. Uh. Anyway, uh, freak these guys. Yeah, well, I'm not exactly a stealth fighter. Oh, they're dead. Oh, nice. Okay, the frag grenade. Popping off. Guess who it is? Guess who it freaking is? Yep. Yeah. You're like, maybe it's bandits. No. Oh, how are you still here? Explode. My charge does more damage. Oh, that's right. That's what Nova does. It does that in Andromeda, too. How are there still more of you alive? You won't hurt me, you say, as you're dying. Okay. Those guys were Cerberus, weren't mm. they? They sure look like it. Cerberus, what are they doing here? Don't give me that look. I know he's looking at me. You know mm. I'm not with them anymore, Caden, if that's what you're asking. It cut ties. It wasn't, but yeah. Look out! It's a little convenient. It's convenient to have people murdering. Oh no. Oh, I'm stuck. Okay, it's convenient to have Alliance soldiers being murdered. You maniac. Yeah, this is way not as much fun. Let's just go, let's go full ham on these bozos and see what happens. Yeah, uh, do I look like security to you? Yeah. <laughs> is he? Yeah, just a few vehicles. Must have had help from Oh, shut up, Kanan. You could be right. No way they could take this facility with anything less than a full battalion. He's easier to give me flag. And Shepard's just very much like, uh huh, yeah, you could be very right. You could be very right, Caden. Commander, I thought you told Cerberus to screw off after you wiped out that collector base. That I did. There. That's exactly what I did. Well, one thing's for sure they're no friend of the Alliance. Agreed. She's being so calm about it. Sometimes I want to shake Shepard in this one when Caden comes at her. Like, I'm like, just tell him he's being a moron! Shepard. That's all I give, really. Caden, don't Caden don't, me. This is don't Caden me. Do you know anything about why Cerberus is here? What makes you think I know what they're up to? You work for them, for God's sakes. How am I not supposed to think that? What do you that? mean? 
We join forces to take down the Collectors. That's it. There's more to it. They rebuilt you from the ground so up. What? They give you a ship. Resources. Let me be clear. I've had no contact with Cerberus since I destroyed the Collector base. And I have no idea why they're here now or what they want. Commander Shepard's been under constant surveillance since coming back to Earth. No way they've communicated since. Sorry, Shepard. Just... Yeah, shut up. I'm gonna drop kick you. You of all people should know what I'm about, Caden. Yeah, Caden. I'm gonna guilt trip you. Yeah, you better rub your head in embarrassment. James Vega is like, I did not sign up for this. <laughs> Please trust me. I do, I'm sorry. I you did not! You did not trust me! You explicitly did not trust me! <laughs> like, that was explicit non-trust. <laughs> yeah, trying to keep that armor through a ventilation shaft? No way. The ventilation shafts were made for, like, monsters, apparently. <laughs> Shadow Broker. How's it going? Easy there, Lieutenant. She's with us. He's like, what? Shepard, thank the goddess you're alive. Liara. I was worried when the reports came in. They hit Earth hard? Yeah. It was hard to leave like that. Caden, I'm sorry. But why'd you come here? Packet ordered us to come. Said you'd know what was going on. I do. Hallelujah. Some answers, finally. Maybe. I've discovered plans for a Prothean device. One that could wipe out the Reapers. Here? On Mars? In the Prothean Archives, yes. We've known about the Archives for decades. Why now? Convenience! The process of elimination, mixed with a little desperation. When you destroyed the Alpha Relay, you bought us some time. But then you were under investigation. I knew I had to do something. Packet knew it too. He contacted me, asking if I would use my how did, resources as a Shadow how do you know? Broker to find a way to stop the Reapers. How, are you broadcasting that you're the Shadow Broker? Packet got me access to the archives and kept me. He let the Shadow Broker have access to the archives. I meant to come see you, but I was under house arrest. There wasn't much I could do to help you anyway. I suppose you're right. In any case, my work paid off. The archives are full of data, an overwhelming amount. I think I found what we Seems need. Seems so good to be true is right. Also, like, I don't know, I remember thinking that it wasn't going to be, like, a big super weapon in the end, that it was going to be, like, totally something else, that, like, we thought it was going to be a big super weapon, but it was actually going to be, I don't know, something else that we couldn't comprehend. Because the whole time, the first time I was playing, I was like, you can't just beat them with a super weapon. Like, it's just not how it's, like, that's so cliche. And also, like, it's so very human and so very, you know what I mean? Like, oh, well, there's, there's a monster out there. Let's get a really big gun. Like, there's no, there's no, it's very American almost. It seems, I know this was made by a lot of Canadians, but also some Americans. <laughs> so it's, but it's just, it's just funny that, like, there was, there ended up not being some, like, secret, I don't know. I mean, I guess technically, if you want to look at the end, it wasn't... I guess I could be fair that the weapon had a couple options to it, so it wasn't just, like, a big super weapon. That I guess that's right. It wasn't really necessarily just a big, necessarily a big explosion, but I had that option. <laughs> and so I was just like... I just remember thinking that the whole time we were going to eventually find a twist to it, and then you get to the end and you're like, no, it's just a really big weapon that has three options <laughs> three three super big super weapon buttons you can press <laughs> i guess i'll believe it when i see it where do we find this weapon it's not a weapon not yet it's plans for a device a blueprint it's more than we had a minute ago how do we get it the archives are just across that tramway assuming cerberus hasn't locked it down what are they after yeah they seem hell-bent on catching you they want what I'm here for. 
what we're all here for. But why? The Protheans came close to defeating the Reapers. They had plans to destroy them, but ran out of time. And anything powerful enough to destroy the Reapers? Just might be something Cerberus would be interested in. So it's a race to the Archives. We got company. Bring it on. Not this time, James. What? Get back to the shuttle. If Cerberus beats us to the Archives, I need you covering the exits. But... Now, Lieutenant. Yeah, I put the most, like, hotshot one on, like, shuttle babysitting duty. I hear them. We should take cover. Looks like they found us. But now it's like a ye old, the ye olden days squad. Yay, let's use singularity. Not a problem for someone with bionics. Yeah, I know. Oh, I am way too far away to be using that. You can't hide forever. I'm gonna get dragged into it. I should definitely level up Liara before I go too far. Come here. No, no, no. You get to you get to come here. You're going to need more than guns to Yeah, I know. I was gonna try to pull. Yeah, there we go. Oh, you did. That's all of them. Okay. Good. Let's find a way up. I really like the reload animation. Alright, singularity. Let's I actually really like singularity, so I'll probably just level it up a lot. I don't know, I don't usually take Liara with me in any of my games, but... Increased impact radius. So we, so we do have an expansion here and a time here. I do like the explosion one. But I feel like Singularity is good for locking down multiple targets. That's why I like to use it. Yeah, let's do the whole duration. 25 damage per second. Or increase recharge speed. What does it already do? It does... I feel like it does some damage, doesn't it? Maybe it doesn't. All right, let's do some damage, and then we'll increase the, the radius at least a little bit. Sorry, every other ability she has. Well, at least... Get her points and all of them. <laughs> I also never really use stasis. Whee! Oh, this one's also, this one's better. They eventually break out of stasis after taking major damage. So it's not like in the previous game where, sta or pre previous two games, I think, where they would take no damage in stasis, but you could just hold a target. But now you can actually do damage to them. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Let's do, let's do weakening armor. Get some warp going. All right. Where are you? I remember this being... I don't know, I remember, I think, having an issue trying to get off the main floor. Yeah. You've sabotaged the elevator. Yeah. There's gotta be another way out. So there's, like, something you can climb on? Over here? Got some ammo. Wait, no, I don't. So double tap is like a roll, but like when you're going sideways. Okay, come on. Can we not jump across? <laughs> I don't know. Nope. <laughs> Here I am being stuck and not remembering how to get up off the floor. They gave me a puzzle in my shooter game. Not even a puzzle. I'm just an idiot. Ooh. Ah. Out. 
Cerberus get into the facility? Not sure. Ah, uh, then I can reports run. Reports of the Reaper invasion. The next, there was chaos. Didn't even realize it was Cerberus at first. Whoa, whoa. Could they be working with the Reapers? Doubtful, but I suppose anything's possible. There we go. I love that slide across. Race to the archives. Ah, gal, you scared me. Cover. I miss. I miss. Uh. I miss the grenade. Bad, I have my pistol equipped like an idiot. Am I? Mm, come on, please, it's not working. I am being shocked to death. Why are none of my abilities working? I'm very sad. Oh my gosh, I'm very sad. <laughs> None of those worked like I wanted to. Why was it? I won't know work. Oh, I didn't have my barrier. That's why I was. I had no barrier whatsoever. I think the Alliance sent backups. You're darn too, they did. Yeah. Yeah. And welcome to the jam. Damage over time is good. We'll need access to the pedway. Controls should be nearby. Nope, I actually want to look at that. Oh, I forget they have goodies just kind of sitting around. Damn it. Security. Shepard, see if you can gain access to the pedway. I can't seem to unlock the live feeds, but... Did you see that? Who's that woman in the vid? That's Dr. Eva Kore. She got here about a week ago. Any luck? Pedway's been locked out. All right. Looks like there's construction nearby. We can get out on the roof. We can find a way around from there. Great. Let's move. Man, I should have gotten a mod. I kind of want to stop, actually. Oh, I want to get a mod for uh, Edie. Just like an idiot. Oh, that was an SMG. Don't care about an SMG. She doesn't look like an idiot. She just looks like every male uh, fantasy of a robot, like sex bot. I actually don't know if there are any good mods for Edie. I kind of looked it up once, and I was trying to find some decent ones, and I couldn't really, I couldn't find anything on cursory search. So, if anybody knows any good. Um, mods for ED, let me know. Like that don't make her look like a sex bot, you know? Maybe give her some clothes. How do we Oh, is that a ladder? I couldn't bring it down. What the hell? What the Looks like the what Alliance the is still hell? putting up a fight. That tram heads to the archives. Once is anybody still the alive? The final security checkpoint. And that's where we're headed. Whoops, that uh mm -hmm. I keep trying to run. Oh my gosh! Storm's it's everywhere! I didn't read that, James! Really? Nope, not gonna happen. Damn it! No comms. That storm's going to be in here very soon. Oh, run. Yeah, I think it's already here. This airlock shouldn't be open. Doesn't look like it was forced open. No, you have to override security protocols. Ooh, level 32. Anyway, this is also... Someone vented the air from this room while they were still here. Looks like they died trying to claw their way out. This is brutal, even by Cerberus standards. They're like, hmm, yes, let's protect humanity. But that's the thing, is Cerberus is not afraid to sacrifice some of humanity for the, air quotes, greater good, the utilitarian greater good. Kim, who the heck is that woman messing my files? Get her out of here. I won't have my system messed up by some wannabe expert who will be gone next week. Dang strangers think they know it all, but don't care about what we're really trying to achieve here. Dr. Eva, seriously, do you remember what happened last time? Yeah. 
So, it does seem weird. To be fair, Cerberus is incredibly powerful, but they, they did manage to get, uh, they did manage to get an agent in here. Um, and I cannot think of, well, okay, I think Bernie. Dying by fire is probably the worst way to die, but dying by the air being vented out of a room has to be probably the second worst way to die ever. Honestly. Like, no, no joke, no. Because, like, oh my gosh, you're just sitting there and you're like, I can't breathe, you know, and that's such a visceral, primal fear. Come here. I can pull you into the singularity, probably. Are you gonna get fire damage? Dang it. I was really hoping for some fire damage. Doesn't do a lot. The, I think the fire ammo is mostly for burning through armor. Put it in the ice. Oops, the ice ammo. Weakens armor and flash freezes unprotected armor, which is good against husks. Where's this fire? Oh, that's not fire. More weapon damage, weaken armor, a chance to make an enemy panic. Yeah. I'm a big fan of fire. <laughs> Are any of these people friends of yours? I recognize a few, but I can't say I knew them. That's As the right. Sorry here, I think perhaps I was viewed with a little suspicion. I would say so. I spent most of my time researching alone. Translating. And what did you discover? Bits and pieces, really. Clues. It took them centuries to conquer the Protheans. In that time, the few Prothean survivors searched desperately for a way to stop the Reapers. If my translations are correct, they found a way. But in the end, they didn't have the resources to follow through with their plan. I could close the door. I, uh, you can get you go to the environmental controls up there. I can't remember if there's a reason to do that. Besides, uh, potentially them recognizing that there is environmental that there's atmosphere in the room. You know, the enemies recognizing that. Wow. So you get like the Mass Effect art books, right? And you get to see some of this stuff in sort of like sketch form, or not even sketch, but like like completed art. But some of it is kind of like sketchy or like painted sketch, you know, where it's like, was it concept art, you know? And it's just so gorgeous and so beautiful. Where's the environmental controls? I saw them when I walked in. Like at least it beep it, so it was like, it was like environmental. But yeah, I couldn't, I think, like, I feel like drowning would really suck, honestly. Like, I'm we're gonna rate ways to die. Um, but like, I don't know, I feel like that one, like, you kind of almost go to sleep. Not that I have any experience in that, and like, potentially it could be, like, it's probably just as bad. I feel like it does not as painful as burning to death, though. Like, it's not like your skin's melting and your bones are crumbling to ash, like, as you're alive. <laughs> um, and... I don't know, like, you're still kind of, like, breathe you're still, like, breathing water, and I know that doesn't count, really, because obviously you die, but, like, I don't know, I feel like you could at least in some way have, I don't know, from what I've heard some people say is it's kind of like going to sleep, but I think you'd still panic, it's still suffocation, it's still terrifying, and freaking from, we need to pressurize from the all the way over here? Oh, I couldn't get out. That's what it is. I couldn't get out of this room unless the, unless this there room was go. pressurized. We have access to the labs. They'll take us right to the tram station. Like the doors were auto closed. Hey, there's a recording of what happened. Hey, here. cool. I want to see more death. That's exactly what I want to see. Thank you. I don't know. Security station, come in. We're seeing some odd activity down here. Our security protocols just kicked in. Everything's locked down. Doctor. Also, this armor is completely ineffective. If you can die from one bullet headshot... You know what I mean? Like, what's the... We know how Cerberus got in. I should have realized it when I met her. I was just so focused on finding a way to stop the... Reapers. How are you supposed to know? It's not like you actually have mind reading capabilities. Stopping the Reapers is the only thing we should be focused on. 
It's not your fault. But what if we're wrong? What if there's no way to stop them? Go down fighting. What if these are our last days and we spend them scurrying around trying to solve a problem we can't What else fix? are we gonna do? Come on, Liara. I know. I shouldn't think that way. I don't know how you do it. You've always stayed focused, even in the worst situations. Yeah, but in this, I, like I said, I appreciate in this game you see a bit more of Shepard. She's not like as stoic. She she has, she has. There's actual like cutscenes and stuff dedicated to it too. But like even in like her in-game facial expressions when certain things happen, I appreciated the expressions that you see. I know some people were like. That's not how my shepherd would react, you know? I feel like they, they took away a bit of the narrative control from the player, and I'm like, yeah, for a more streamlined experience. Like, like say what you will about having, like, control in an RPG, but, like, the amount of things they have to take into account is, like, astronomical, so your character ends up being a little bit... It can be a little bit bland if they have to take into account so many different, like, personality traits, you know? Like, you can kind of... Like, despite having all these options, your character still kind of boils down to, like, three main choices or something you know what i mean um unless it's a written one like fallout new vegas you know uh where i feel like you have a lot of personality and pep in those dialogue options because not everything has to be voiced which is like incredibly expensive um but anyway that's a tangent <laughs> when there's so much at stake i just think about what i'd lose if i fail why are we looking at caden that's a terrible burden we'll stop them liara why did I look at Caden for that? I want to believe you. Really? Okay, doors open. We can get to the labs and tram station. I'm actually not sure what happens Let's if move. you start the game and like you haven't romanced Caden. That would be interesting. Like, do you look at him as like a friend? Because the conversation is very full of undertones between Caden and Shepard. This like previous intimacy that they had, and then like the anger that they left off on. You know. Uh, I should probably end this episode, but yeah, I I, I do enjoy the like undertones and the like kind of like push and pull of these like various emotions that they have as complicated, you know, complex people uh, and a complicated relationship between the two of them. But I've like it's still it's complicated. Like you look at Thane or Caden, I see as Fortean mm, slip Thane. Um, look at Caden and you'd be like, you know, you would remember like previous intimacy and like even just like a friendship and the camaraderie too and like all these things. And like the anger with which he met you in Mass Effect 2 and everything, but it's also like, look, I, I've most I've moved on. Like, I, there's like lingering feelings, I'm sure, you know, in some way. But like, you know, I love somebody else now, and he's gonna come at you later and be like, "Where well, I tried to move on," blah, 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 and I'm like, "I'm gonna kick you in the teeth." Shut up, it's not my fault. <laughs> like, anyway, I'm gonna call this one here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it very, very much. Um, I hope you're enjoying the series thus far. I know it's only episode two, but like, I hope you're enjoying it. Um, I'm ready to just get wrecked. Hashtag get wrecked. I'm emotionally devastated already. Woo! So thank you guys so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons. Mm to all my patrons, uh, but especially Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron, thank you so much for your support, and an extra special shout out to Christopher, my tree tier patron, who is the super bestest, I really hope you're enjoying Mass Effect 3 so far, um, and thank you so much for your support, uh, once again, I super duper appreciate it, despite my lack of Patreon updates, cause I'm bad at that, so thank you guys again for supporting me, and I hope to see you in the next one.